All right, y'all, what's going on? It's Combo Breaker 99. I'm back with another video. Okay, y'all, so I did get a chance to watch Bellator 284 uh, two days ago, you know, uh, Friday night. And I had some people ask me if I seen the uh, Justin Keach, Deanna Bennett fight. And uh, yeah, I did. So, you know, I went to just come back and give you my thoughts on it. Um, first off, I got to say, you know, shout out to Deanna Bennett. You know, uh, this is her third win in a row. But this was a close fight. It was close and competitive. And at times I thought Justin Keach, she was doing enough with her striking. Uh, to kind of dictate the pace and I thought she was landing the better strikes in this one but um yeah Deanna Bennett you know she has gotten better I think she's gotten stronger uh on this Bellator level you know it's really showing that um she has been growing as a fighter uh Justine Keish you know she missed weight in this one um you know she needs to be a little bit more dedicated if she wants to climb to that, back to that top you know she wants to make this weight uh you know she just needs to stick to it um uh, I'm not sure if it was a short notice for her or what the deal was on this one but yeah she was off like by three pounds in this one but uh uh deanna bennett uh justin key she was kind of tit for tat at times you know i think uh there was moments where yeah you could favor deanna bennett because she never backed up you know justin key was trying to put pressure on her but they always met in the center and uh deanna bennett was doing a good job uh controlling with her strength and landing some good jabs i mean going back and looking at the first round justin key she was doing a well sticking and moving you know using the range landing some good right hands uh deanna bennett she was answering back but not letting peace control like i said you know she was trying to pu push deanna bennett but she was still controlling um her space uh key she tried for a takedown but bennett being the stronger wrestler she actually got the takedown and used that time to get uh top control and get some ground and pound and full mount she finished that round strong so started off in Keish's um element but deanna bennett she won that uh first round to me uh the second round Keish wanted to circle landed those single right hands again uh Bennett using some good leg kicks to get in uh good job with her with her jab you know mixing it up from leg kicks to jabs to push her way in Keish to me she was doing better with her jab all around because it was just opening up some nice right hands again it was tip for tap Bennett's offense to me was working but I thought Keish she was edging it out towards the last two minutes of the rounds with her combination so very very close you know very close and i think it's just all in what you look at um the last round bennett was looking to break you know she was looking to break that uh that chain you know that tit for tat chain and she tried to be more aggressive punching her way in doubling up with jabs landing on the chin of quiche quiche she was landing clean with that right hand though off the back foot you know she kept tagging her with those and i think even though she was landing the judges weren't really scoring those high but to me i thought they were better right hands you know they were the effective strikes even off the back foot uh bennett she was eating a lot of shots here so she tried to close in drop a level get keish down but keish she was stopping the takedown keish just doing a good job of timing the right hand you know straight over or under you know she was coming with uppercuts in the earlier part of the fight going around the side um to me i thought keish edged out the round you know i thought she did edge it out that's why it was like what a split decision win uh it was tight you know it was tight uh first time i thought deanna bennett was doing well but i watched it again you know um late last night and i said you know what i think keish did enough to win this round not just because i'm a striking fan but i thought she was just doing an overall good job of um you know controlling with that right hand and and getting into more significant strikes but uh yeah either way like i said it was a good fight i think deanna bennett has done better um as a fighter you know she has been growing making the right improvements scrappy and um i think a fight with her Denise Kilholz would be good and then maybe a rematch with Liz Carmouche which would be for the title right so yeah I think that would be a good one for her Justin Keach like I said just needs to get on point with her weight and I'm um, going from there but yeah that's my thoughts on this one guys you know I got some other videos to talk about some of these other uh, UFC fights that I uh, had to go back and watch because you know I was I was out you know I was out so I was I was watching them on the fly I had to go back and watch them all late last night before I hit the bed but yeah man um let me know what y'all think about Deanna Bennett. Is she climbing her way to a title shot? Combo Breaker 99. I'm out. Subscribe. Peace.